Let's do some alchemy. What's up everybody? Welcome to the life of a board gamer. My name is Daniel and today we are going to take a closer look at a game called Tris Majestas. A beautiful, beautiful game with dice. So let's get down to the table. Let me show you how the game looks and then we'll talk some more about it. Okay, let's open up this bad boy and uh, let me show you what you get in here. Okay, first of all, you get a rule book and it's a hefty rule book. This is a pretty complicated game, but just at the first sight. Once you get to know how to play the game, it goes really smoothly. So you will get a bunch of dice and uh, these dice, these are, this is for solo, I think. I never used it in a multiplayer game, so I never played it solo, so I guess it's for the solo. But yeah, uh, these dice, as you can see, are really uh, nicely done, unique dice, looking very, very beautiful. And these are the main drive of the game. You will be using these dice to draft your actions and play them. So we have the components for solo play, just some cards to drive the game for you. Uh, you get a bunch of uh, tokens for all kinds of different status abilities that you will be doing throughout the game, you know, changing the value of the dice or the color of the dice, activating these, these uh, like thunders, little lightning thunders are uh, for, you, for you to use when other players are playing. And you will have these scrolls that you will be activating throughout the game, giving some, giving you some special abilities, only for you, of course. Some more tokens to use to build different potions. Uh, wooden components, as always, to track your score points, everything. Some more cardboard tokens. And uh, you will get a bunch of these regular plastic cubes that you will use, as these will represent your materials that you are transmuting into different stuff. Uh, some more of these scrolls that you will be activating throughout the game as you can see there's a lot in here and we have these set of cards so you have like the end game goals for the end game you can score some extra points if you manage to uh, acquire what they're asking from you and i turned them toward you not toward me because you need to see it i already know how they look this is like a cheat sheet but it has some error on it if i'm not mistaken so these are not really helpful. You will need a little cheat sheet because there is lots of different actions that you can do in this game and you really need a reminder for a few first few games to know how the game works and everything. So each of the players players will get uh, I think uh, eight or four of these, four of these and uh, you'll get four specific to your character. As you can see there are characters on the other side. And over here there are actions and they're all pretty much different they do some of the same things but most of them are pretty different one from another so each player each uh, character that you are playing in a game you have a really really unique experience with and uh, we get some cards if i manage to open this thing over here so these are the potions that you will be trying to create by transmuting all kinds of different materials so as you can see this is what you need to uh, fulfill this order sort of to say this is how many points you will get what you need to be on some of the tracks of the alchemy or whatever they are called and some some of these uh, rewards that you are going to get once you get to uh, build this acquire this or whatever dispose it i don't know how to say it correctly and yeah as you can see there is a lot of these cards and all of them are separated into three piles we have some starting cards we have some uh, level three and level two and level one of course so the game progresses nicely and also there are these cards over here and uh, these are the, these are also the orders that you can fulfill or these are the end game cards. Have I mistaken something? Oh man. Yeah, but basically you get a bunch of cards that you will be doing and all of that you will be playing on this very, very beautiful board. Let me show you how the board looks now. This is a state of the art. So the dice will go there each. As you can see, there is six symbols on this, on this uh, 
middle part over here because the dice has six sides so dice will go into respective balls you will have those potions around here and you will try to collect those potions to fulfill them you will have your scrolls here over here you have a track that you need to go up on to get some points and to fulfill some of these orders you will need to be like level four on earth or on fire or water or air of course and yeah that's how the board looks it looks maybe confusing at first but it's really pretty simple and easy to understand once you get to hang, hang of it how to play the game and everything and the last thing is these boards and you get five boards even this, even though this game goes up to four players so you get five boards and they're all famous uh, personalities not really sure who they are one of them is da vinci i'm 100 percent sure others i know they, they mentioned them in the book but i'm not uh, the guy who remembers names very well so pardon me but basically those white cubes that you saw these things over here you will put them over here so each of the player gets eight of course two four six eight of them and you can uh, once you deliver the potions in different colors you will be putting them over here once you manage to connect this row or a column uh, you will get these uh, rewards for stuff like that and stuff like that so that's how you play the game over here you will use your dice and you will transmute all the elements through here as you can see you will turn lead into metal metal or this is copper copper into metal or this is copper this is silver gold oh again not sure i just call them red blue green brown white yellow i mean yellow is always gold so gold is gold and uh, yeah one small thing is that uh, <laughs> there are black cards that you need to deliver uh, they're also green they're also red and blue and black cards use yellow border for some reason not sure why was that what was that about but yeah it is how it is and uh, as you can see uh, different uh, things get different boards have different things around that you can activate and get some bonuses and abilities uh, not abilities like some rewards and stuff like that but uh, and every all of them are a little bit different see this one has a cat on it this one has no cat on it this one also has a cat but in a different pose so it's really nice touch to give you a little bit of difference besides the different uh, rewards just look a little bit differently like little easter eggs or stuff like that and uh, yeah that's that that's how that's not that's that's not how that's what you get in a trismegistus the ultimate formula Okay, so that was Trismegistus, and uh, I think it's pronounced Trismegistus, not really sure about it, but yeah. Where to begin? Uh, this game, this game is brain-burning game. So yeah, I absolutely love it, but this game will leave your brains in a mush. Uh, after this game, you don't want to play anything heavy for, for the end of the day, let's say so. Uh, now that all might sound like a negative thing, but I'm saying it in a most positive way that I can think of. Now, I really like how this game challenges my brain. Uh, I am known as the guy who usually tends to clog up and just freeze and don't know what to do on a turn. And this game doesn't do that to me i mean maybe once or twice during the game but uh, while i'm waiting for my turn while i'm thinking what i want to do how many actions i want to spend and everything i just get completely in the zone the numbers are crunching left and right formulas flying beside my head stuff like that so yeah this game is uh, i don't know i think this is the most that i burned my brain in any of the games because the complexity of it even though it it's not that complex it's hard to, for me to explain but the game is not like a super complex game uh, once you get a hang of it uh, you you understand everything you can do throughout the game you are just going through the turns but the way you are going through that uh, through those turns it is it is just beautifully done so I don't know what more to say. I I, I know I, I'm kind of not finished saying, but I really don't know what more to say. I like everything about this game. The way the dice works is just phenomenal. The placement of the dice, the color of the dice, uh, how many dice are in the pool when you're taking it out. Everything matters. Everything is... Uh, everything you need to watch for all of those things to get uh, what you want and the best results. 
Uh, I like the uniqueness of the player boards. Each of the player boards has its own unique stuff that you can do on it. And uh, activating those uh, scrolls with dice, uh, transmuting things, thinking how you can get these uh, things done. It, it is just phenomenally beautiful game. I like how my brain just, after this game, uh, my brain is just, give me some love letter or something easy and we are done with it but in a good way so yeah i think i said everything even though i did not say anything so to say this is really weird game for me to explain why i enjoy it but i really really enjoy this game so yeah that is that thank you all for uh, watching thank you for subscribing thank you for spending time with me and please do join me next time when we will be uh, creating our own worker placement game without workers. Until next time. Pozdrav.